Coming up on NBA Now by Chat Sports, we're going to break down five blockbuster trade ideas with NBA free agency starting to slow down a bit. I mean, certainly a lot of the big names no longer available, but uh, the trade market's starting to take over. That's where the chatter is starting to increase. So let's go ahead and hop on in here. Blockbuster trade number one, a three-team deal, and this one is explosive. Damian Lillard to Miami, Tyler Hero to San Antonio, and the Blazers get... Caleb Martin, Nikola Jovic, Duncan Robinson, all from Miami. They get Doug McDermott and a 2024 first-round pick from the Spurs. Uh, and then uh, they get that 2028 and 2030 first-round pick from Miami. So money all works here. I think the assets line up for San Antonio. Uh, you're giving up one first for uh, Hero, which I think makes sense for a 20-point score. You pair him with Victor Wimbanyama. Blazers take on a bunch of deal, a couple young pieces, expiring type of contract, and Duncan Robinson, uh, expiring deal in McDermott. Those guys can help them this year. Uh, and then uh, for Miami, they get Damian Lillard, who, according to reports, is only focused on the Miami Heat. Other teams have shown interest in recent days the Pelicans, the Celtics, the 76ers, and more. But apparently Dame only wants to go to Miami. He's boys with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. That's where he wants to play. Uh, and so I think when it's all said and done, they still remain the most likely team to trade for Lillard, who's coming off a really, really good season, one of the best of his career, averaging over 32 points and seven assists, shot 37% from three-point range uh, in Portland a year ago uh, for the – uh, Portland Trailblazers. Obviously, Tyler Hero uh, would go to San Antonio, a 20-point score uh, this past season uh, for the Miami Heat, uh, and uh, that is what would happen there in San Antonio, which, to be honest, a Tyler Hero, Victor Wimbanyama kind of pairing to kind of reboot that franchise, I think uh, could be pretty exciting for the San Antonio Spurs. You look at Hero uh, in recent years as he's kind of uh, – built his career in the NBA, two straight seasons of averaging 20 or more. So, uh, And he's gotten better as a playmaker, which uh, playing next to Wimby is obviously going to be very, very important. Now, what do you guys think? When it's all said and done, will the Miami Heat land Damian Lillard? Type Y for yes, or you can type in for no. I think this gets done. It could take some time, could take some meddling around from Portland's standpoint, but I do think he will be a Heatle. Blockbuster trade idea number two between the Clippers and Sixers. James Harden's kind of that second big trade name right now behind Damian Lillard. Harden and P.J. Tucker to the Clippers. Two win-now pieces for Norman Powell, Terrence Mann, and Marcus Morris. Money all adds up. Uh, Terrence Mann, I think sending him back to Philadelphia eliminates uh, the, the Sixers from uh, landing a draft pick in compensation because we know the Clippers value him highly. Norm Powell's a 20-point scorer, and Marcus Morris is still someone who can help in the short term and obviously uh, helps the money line up as well. Now, James Harden, uh, coming off a solid year, led the NBA at assist, uh, wants to play for a new franchise. He has now set a record for most trade requests in NBA history. But I think from the Clippers' standpoint, uh, they could look at this upcoming season as like, one last chance, right? When when they brought in Kawhi, when they brought in Paul George in that same offseason, uh, the idea was for them to contend for championships for years to come. And they've had some good teams. They made the conference finals, but they haven't all been healthy together throughout a playoff run. So I think their thought could be, okay, let's take one more swing. Let's bring in James Harden, who's on an expiring contract, opted into the one year for next year. And if things don't work out, you blow it up a year from now. But that could be a calculated risk for the Clippers franchise. Help us reach 343,000 subscribers here at Chat Sports as we continue to grow. We're less than 200 away. So if you want daily NBA news, rumors, trade content, and a whole lot more, help us out. Let's get to 343,000 here on the channel. Blockbuster trade number three between the Nets and the Raptors. Some Pascal Siakam trade buzz has kind of been circulating. Uh, he is on the final year of his deal. So Siakam to the Nets. They get a front court score uh, to pair with uh, Bridges and uh, Dinwiddie and uh, obviously uh, Cam Johnson as well. Uh, and then uh, the Raptors uh, get Ben Simmons in two first round picks. Uh, Siakam, a player who I think uh, can be a number two or a number three on a contending team. Now, obviously, you have a lot of wings there, but Siakam could play the four. He could play uh, Bridges uh, and Johnson at the two and three if you need to. And then Dinwiddie could run the point with, um, who am I drawing a blank at center in Brooklyn? Uh, Nick Claxton. Thank you, producer Roley. Uh, and look, 
here's why I think Toronto should consider doing this. I get it. Ben Simmons is bad. It's been a disaster. You're not doing it to get Ben Simmons. But if you can get two first-round picks for Pascal Siakam, who is sneakily 29. Like, it's not like he's 26. Like, he, he's getting up there in age. Um, you get two first. You take on Simmons, who's got two years left on his deal. Maybe he gives you something. Maybe he doesn't. Um, embrace a rebuild. You could also go flip OG and an Ananobi for a couple of first-round picks as well. And you could fast-track things. Toronto has a really good history of drafting and developing talent. Get some draft capital and uh, get on that rebuild. I think that could make a lot of sense. Couple more trades to explore, but first we got some NBA jerseys available for you guys. If you want to get a new jersey for the upcoming season, pick one up. Also, it's a great look uh, come summertime as well, which we're in the middle of summer. So chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. Represent your favorite player, your favorite squad today with that link right there. Chatsports.com slash NBA jerseys. That link will be in the comments and in the description. Maybe you're a Hornets fan, maybe you're happy Lamella Ball just extended. Go ahead and get his jersey today. Blockbuster trade number four. We know the Dallas Mavericks are linked to targeting center. So how about Jared Allen to the Mavericks? Isaac Okoro in there as well to help match salary. Tim Hardaway Jr., a player who the Cavs have been uh, interested in in the past. They tried to trade for him at the deadline a year ago. Rashawn Holmes uh, to get a center back for Jared Allen. And then uh, a 2027 first-round pick, which is the next first that Dallas can trade. Uh, so one first, Hardaway and Holmes for Allen and Okoro. I think that's pretty decent value here. There's been reports that the Cavs could be open to trading Jared Allen. Double-double guy, 14 and 10. Good rim protector. Uh, shoots the ball pretty well. Has a mid-range game. Can score around the basket. Um, I think this would be a great fit for Dallas. You get Isaac Okoro, who... It's been a bit of a disappointment in Cleveland, but maybe it's a bit of a reclamation project as well. And then uh, Cleveland gets some shooting and a decent center as well in return of Rashawn Holmes and then Hardaway as that shooter, like I previously mentioned. Uh, you look at the math centers right now, Rashawn Holmes, Derek Lively, Dwight Powell, JaVale McGee. Reports suggest that McGee is not in their plan, so he's going to get traded or cut. Uh, Lively could need a year to develop, uh, so... Dallas has been actively looking to upgrade that center spot. I think there's some questions around Rashawn Holmes, who found his way out of the Kings rotation a year ago. Why is that? I think they would flip him for Jared Allen in a heartbeat. Should the Mavs trade for a center? Type T for trade or P for pass. I think if they could get a Jared Allen, a Clint Capella, even a DeAndre Ayton, that is something they should explore. I'm typing my T for trade. One more here. It's another three-team trade between the Knicks, Bulls, and Spurs. Zach Levine and Zach Collins to the Knicks. Uh, the Bulls receive R.J. Barrett, Miles McBride, Devontae Graham from San Antonio. 2024 first-round pick from uh, New York. 2025 first-round pick from New York. That's the Dallas Mavericks pick they have, the Nets pick they have. Uh, that goes to Chicago. And then the Spurs receive Julius Randle. They also get a second-round pick from the Knicks. Uh, to help take on Randall in that deal. So uh, the money all adds up here. I think the assets is close. I mean, it's obviously hard to project how teams value certain assets, but obviously from New York's standpoint, they get their second star along with Jalen Brunson and Zach Levine. That would be a backcourt that could average 50 points per game between the two. He averaged 25, uh, almost five rebounds and four assists last year. Can shoot the ball from deep uh, as well. R.J. Barrett uh, goes to the Bulls, gives them a young player. Uh, to start uh, uh, building around. He's obviously not a number one or even a number two, but maybe he becomes a number three for a contending team in the future. Uh, they also get those picks and uh, some other filler assets like I mentioned. So let's recycle back through all five trades, and you guys can decide which one was your favorite. The first one where Damian Lillard went to Miami, Tyler Hero to the Spurs, and then all the picks and the role players to Portland. That's trade idea number one. Type one if that's your favorite. Type two if this is your favorite. James Harden and P.J. Tucker to the Clippers for Norm Powell, Terrence Mann, and Marcus Morris. If you like trade idea number three, type three uh, with Pascal Siakam going to the Nets for Ben Simmons and two first-round picks. Trade idea number four if this one's your favorite. Type four, Jared Allen and Isaac Okoro to Dallas for Tim Hardaway Jr., Rashawn Holmes, and a first-round pick. And then the one we just mentioned, trade idea number five, if this is your favorite, type fives, the Zachs go to New York, Zach Levine, Zach Collins. Bulls receive R.J. Barrett, Miles McBride, Devontae Graham, uh, two first-round picks from the Knicks. And then uh, the Spurs get Julius Randle and a second-round pick. Again, if that is your favorite trade, go ahead and type five. So there you have it, five blockbuster trades uh, that uh, we cooked up that conceivably could happen. 
uh, at some point this offseason. If you have any trade ideas, drop them in the comment section below. We'll be sure to read them for you guys.